something been bothering me all day today, and I... Marcus, do you own a suede jacket? No. Why? Well, Mr. Bentley said he saw you carrying one last night. <laughs> oh, you mean that English dude? Oh, he must be jiving you, Miss Jefferson. <laughs> one thing Bentley don't do is lie. What about you, Marcus? Would you lie? Or steal? Wait a minute. Are you two calling me a... Thief? Yeah, the thief who came to lunch. <laughs> All right, that's it. I don't need this. I quit. Marcus! Now, tell me the truth. Did you take the jacket? Look, what if I did? It ain't no big thing. Taking is the only way you're gonna get anything in this world. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. No. We were trying to give you a chance to work at a job to make something of yourself. Yeah, Marcus, that's why I don't understand. Of course why you, you don't understand. You the man. I'm the man. You heard what I said, Jack. <laughs> oh, you pass around looking black and acting black, but you ain't nothing but the man. I'm the man. Well, look, boy. <laughs> Busted my tail for everything I got. Yeah, well, now you got it, and you one of them. You ain't one of us. I mean, when was the last time you was uptown? When was the last time you sat on the stoop to two in the morning because it was too hot to sit inside? When was the last time you opened your refrigerator and wondered to where your next meal was coming from? You ain't one of us. Don't you tell us about being poor. When George and I were first married, we lived on mayonnaise sandwiches. Yeah, without bread. <laughs> Can't you read with clothes? Uh, it's Mr. Stockwood. I wonder what he wants. Who's Mr. Stockwood? He's with the school board. No, he ain't. He's by himself. <laughs> uh, Mr. Stockwood, hello. Hello, Mrs. Jefferson. Marcus. Uh, Mr. Stockwood, this is my husband, George. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Jefferson. Hi. I just stopped by to see how your work-study program was going. How it's going? Well, you know, when there's something new, there's always somebody waiting for something to go wrong so they can scrap the whole thing. <laughs> how was your first day on the job, Marcus? Why don't you ask them? Uh, Mr. Stockwood, the program... Uh, well, maybe the program wasn't a good idea. It wasn't? That's right, Stockwood. The program wasn't a good idea. It was a great idea. Marcus here has been doing a fantastic job. And next week, he's going to learn how to operate the presser. Then I'm going to take him down to the main plant and show him how the whole operation works. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'm going to teach him everything I know about cleaning, that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it uh, sounds to me like your program could be a big success, Mrs. Jefferson. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it certainly sounds that way, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I, I better be going. See you all later. Keep up the good work, Marcus. Uh, uh, goodbye, Mrs. Okay, Stockwood. <laughs> What's your game, man? I mean, why you tell that dude I ripped off your jacket? Because I ain't gonna let you blow a program for Wheezy and for those other kids who want to take advantage of a good program. And I did it for another reason, too. What's that? Because when I was your age, I was a lot like you. Only smaller. <laughs> yeah, I was hip. At least I thought I was hip. In fact, I was so hip that I got busted for shoplifting in Central Reform School. You mean you got sent up? That's right. And while I was up there, I met a whole lot of other hip dudes who thought they were cool. You know where they are now? Either one or two places. Either the graveyard or jail. And the way you're going, that's the way you're going to end up. Where you going? You want that jacket, don't you? Well, I'm gonna get it. Just bring it with you tomorrow. Tomorrow? You mean you're gonna still let me work here? Let me work? I'm gonna make you work here. <laughs> and you're gonna like 